Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to solve another past year paper of probability and statistics one. And it is from May June 2019 and it is 9709 component is 63. So let's start with the question number one. Here's the question number one. The time taken in minutes by a ferry to cross a lake has a normal distribution with mean 85 and standard deviation 6.8 minutes of course find the probability that on a randomly chosen occasion the time taken by ferry to cross the lake is between this 79 and 81 minutes so if we take x as the number of minutes the time taken like number time uh, time taken in minutes not number of because it's a continuous distribution if x is the time taken by ferry to cross a lake is uh, uh, x so it is going to be normally distributed so n and the parameters for normal distributions are mean and variance so mean is 85 and variance is square of standard deviation so it is going to be 6.8 square we need to find the probability it's we can write it as x between 79 and 91 so we can see it from the normal distribution graph it is like that bell shaped curve and mean is 85 and 79 is towards the left hand side of 85 and 91 is towards the right hand side of 85 and we can see the distance is still 6 so we will get the same z with the different sign so let's standardize it and it would be z greater than 79 minus mu that is 85 5 over sigma 6.8 is less than 91 minus 85 over 6.8 that is sigma and we will calculate this this is going to be probability of and z between these two value we will calculate from calculator and this value is minus 0 0.8823 so 24 here and it would be plus and it is again 0 0.8824 so we need to find this area in the standardized normal distribution if you draw it corresponding to this we will get z here which is 0 and this value is minus 0 0.88244 and corresponding to this this is going to be 0 0.8824 and that is the second value as well so we can how we can find this value it is going to be first we will calculate this value two times we will calculate this area two times so that one area would be covering this and then we will subtract one so we can directly write it as two times phi of 0 0.8824 and minus one otherwise also we can write it as phi of 0 0.8824 minus phi of the lower value that is 0 point minus 0 0.8824 and we know that if it is negative we are calculating this value so this is going to be 1 minus phi of this which will be of course 2 times phi of 0 0.8824 minus 1 and that is the better way if we draw the diagram and we understand it from here that uh, phi denotes the area so if we calculate this area this area less than 0 0.28824 area two times then this one area which is exactly same as this we will get the total area and we'll subtract one then one layer will be gone so now we'll calculate this value from the distribution table and it is 2 times 0 0.8111 minus 1 
and this will be 0 0.8111 into 2 minus 1 and the answer is 0 0.6222 so that is until three significant figure this is going to be 0 0.622 and that is the probability I hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the second part over a long period it is found that 96 percent of ferry crossing take longer than crossings take longer than a certain time t minutes find the value of t so if we write it in the probability form it is given at t uh, capital x which was the time taken by the ferry to cross the lake is greater than t this probability is 96 percent that is 0 0.96 so if we draw the diagram distribution graph it would be more easier to understand this t T should be lying somewhere here and median this is the mean and mean is uh, from the previous part from the previous part the mean is 85 so this T should be here so that this is going to be 96 percent that is the question so we can uh, for change it in the standardized form and we'll get probability of Z greater than T minus mu that is 85 over sigma that is 6.8 this is again 0 0.96 now if we see from the diagram this value this value corresponding to this value in the stand, no, standardized normal distribution we will get t minus 85 over 6.8 which is of course negative so if we want to find this value it is going to be 8 minus uh, t minus 85 over 6.8 is equal to phi inverse of 0 0.96 and we know that this value is going to be negative so we will take it as negative of phi inverse of this which we will calculate from the we will see from the distribution table and this value is minus 1.7 one so t minus 85 is equal to this into 6.8 or we can write t is equal to minus 1.751 into 6.8 plus 85 and we'll calculate this it is 73.8 zero nine so that is seventy three point one so t is seventy three point one minutes so i hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the second question megan sends messages to her friends in one of the three different ways text email and social media for each message the probability that she uses text is 0 0.3 the probability that she uses email is 0 0.2 and the last social media is not given but we can understand if it is 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 then to le left is for social media that is 0 0.5 she receives an immediate reply immediate reply from a text message with the probability 0 0.4 from an email with probability 0 0.15 and from the social media the probability is 0 it is 0.6 draw a fully level tree diagram to represent this information so let's draw this so here first one we will mark it as t t for text e for emails and s for social media and now the second one would be second branch would be like immediate reply or not immediate reply so we can only say uh, uh, reply r for reply and we can write r bar for not replying not getting reply immediately so again r and not immediately r and not immediately so we have the probability given so we'll write for text it is 0 0.3 for email it is email it is 0 0.2 so for social media it is of course going to be 0 0.5 because this total branch should be 1 and after text 
the immediate reply probability is 0 0.4 so if she did not get the immediate reply it would be 0 0.6 and if it is through the email the immediate reply probability is 0 0.15 so not getting immediate reply is going to be 0 0.85 for social media the immediate reply means 0 0.6 and not getting immediate reply it is going to be 0 0.4 so that is the fully labeled tree diagram to represent this information i hope it is clear let's do the second part of this question and in the second part give second part given that megan does not receive an immediate reply to a message if it is given that we can write it in this form if it is not immediate reply so it means r bar find the probability that the message was an email so we need to find the probability of e given r bar so this by formula we can calculate probability of e intersection with r complement or we can say r naught over probability of r bar so from here in from the t diagram you are going to we are going to calculate first thing e intersection r bar means e and r bar so it is going to be the branches product of the branches that is 0 0.2 into 0 0.85 and probability of r bar means she did not get the immediate reply it is going to be this branch this branch or this branch so we'll add all the probabilities that is going to be 0 0.3 0 0.3 into 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 into 0 0.85 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.4 so we'll solve this and the next step would be 0 0.85 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.17 over 1 point, 0 0.18 plus 0 0.17 plus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.17 over 8 7 and then 0 8 7 15 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 so it is going to be 17 over 55 and we can we can write our answer in the decimal as well and in the decimal 17 over 55 is 0 0.30909 and so on but we require the answer till three significant figure always if it is not mentioned so it is going to be 0 0.309 that is the probability that megan has uh, megan sent the message to the email given that it was not immediate reply so i hope it is clear here's the third question mr and mrs kenny uh, their five children all go to watch a football match together with their friends mr and mrs uzuma and they have two children find the uh, number of ways in is in which 11 people can line up at the entrance in each of the following cases so the first case is Mr. Kine stands at one end of the line and Mr. Uzuma stands or at the other end of the line. So it's like if there are 11 people, the last, this end of the lines are fixed. Either this place would be filled by Kine or Uzuma. Same here, if it is Kine, then it is Uzuma. And if it is Uzuma or at the first end, say it would be Kine. So it's going to be they can interchange their places in two factorial ways and there are 11 people so remaining nine people can stand anywhere in between. So we can arrange the nine people in a row in nine factorial ways. So the answer is going to be the total number of arrangement total number of ways is going to be into 9 factorial so the total answer I'll write the answer is 7 lakh 25,760
these are the total number of ways by which they can stand at the end each end i hope it is clear let's do the second part of this question second part is uh, the five kini children all stand together and the uzuma children both stand together so if we want to find the total number of ways they can stand then and five children are standing together we can collect them these five children of kini one one two three four and five one two three four five and we'll consider them as one and the two two children of uzuma one two as the one so it is going to be two so altogether there were 11 people out of them five have be, we have considered as one and two as this one so one two and remaining five seven then four are going to be anywhere they can stand anywhere in a line so it is going to be one two three four five six so it's this question become like how many ways we can arrange six people in a line six different people in a line then it is going to be six factorial ways and now these five children of kini can interchange their places so five people can interchange their places in five factorial ways and for two children of uzuma they can also interchange their places so it is going to be two factorial so the total number of ways is six factorial into five factorial into two factorial and six six factorial is 720 five factorial is 120 two factorial is two so it become one one lakh seventy two thousand eight hundred so there are one lakh seventy two thousand eight hundred ways they can stand i hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the fourth question first part find the number of ways a committee of six people can be chosen chosen from eight men and four women if there must be at least twice as many men as there are women on the committee so since there are four women so we'll start with if there are no women at all so we will consider it is like in this way if there are no women so it means all the six would be men and that too the next condition is at least two so zero into two is zero so it is satisfied next if there are only one women so it should be men should be more than two and of course because we require six people so we'll take five so we'll take five and for two if there are two women then more than or equal to four here so we require six people so we have to take four so the, both the conditions are getting satisfied but we cannot take the three women here because if we'll take three women then they require more than or equal to six which is not possible because altogether we need only six people so these are the only possible combination so for zero and six zero women six men the uh, eight men we t choose six and out of four women we choose no one and for the next one is if it is one women and five men then it is going to be four c one and eight c five and the last one is if two women are there and four men are there so it is going to be four c two and eight c four and we'll calculate this values this is going to be 8c6 is 28 into 4c0 is 1 of course and uh, nc0 is always 1 4c1 is 4 and 8, 8c5 is 56 and 4c2 4 c2 is 6 into 
eight C four is going to be seventy. So we have twenty eight from here two twenty four from here and six into seven four twenty from here. So total number of V's are going to be twenty eight plus 224 plus 420 so this is going to be 672 so there are 672 number of ways where we can choose six people for with this condition and in the second part the second condition find the number of ways a committee of six people can be chosen from eight men and four women if two particular men refuse to be on the committee together so there are so many possibilities first one like both of them will not come in the to, uh, committee together but one of them can come so what we are going to do we are going to uh, make the committee of any six people out of this eight and four and then we will take the two men we'll find the number of ways where these two men are going to come going to be there in the committee and we'll subtract it so so for total ways total ways we know that there are 8 4 12 12 people and we require 6 people so it is going to be 12 c 6 this is the total way and if we include the two men both both are in committee if both are in committee so it means two people are already being chosen so we only have to choose four people out of the four plus six ten so it is going to be ten c four so the among those ways when they will not come in that they will not be in the committee both of them will not be in the committee is going to be 12 c six minus 10 c four and 12 C 6 is 924 and 10 C 4 is 210 so 924 minus 210 is going to be 714 so there are going to be 714 ways when these two men will not come in the committee together i hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the fifth question on average 34 percent of the people who go to particular theater are men first part is a random sample of 14 people so we have the fixed number of trials who go to the theater is chosen find the probability that at most two people are men so we if we take x as a number of men uh, in the theater then it is going to be binomial here so x we can write as the binomial distribution as the binomial distribution with the two parameters n and p we have the total number of trials as 14 and if someone is uh, a particular person is man it is going to be 34 percent so it is going to be 0 0.34 so we have n as 14 and p as 0 0.34 and the probability now we'll write this thing in the mathematical form to find the probability that at most two people so we have to find probability of x less than or equal to 2 because at most so it can be at most 2 so x is it is going to be probability of x is equal to 0 or probability of x is equal to 1 or probability of x is equal to so these are the only cases we have to calculate and for binomial if x is binomial distribution and we require find the probability of x is equal to r it is n c r p raised to the power r and q raised to the power n minus r so it is going to be uh, 14 c 0 0 0.34 to the power 0 and the complement that is 1 minus 0 0.34 is going to be 0 0.66 0 0.66 to the power 14 plus 
14 C 1 0 0.34 to the power 1 and 0 0.66 to the power 13 plus 14 C 2 0 0.34 to the power 2 and 0 0.66 to the power 12. Now we will calculate this and this direct value we can write and it is going to be 0 0.09630 so till 3 significant figure this is the answer I hope it is clear let's do the second part of this question so here is the second part use an approximation to find the probability that in a random sample of 600 people who go to the theater fewer than 190 are men so it is again we know that in the from the previous one that the probability that a uh, theater in the theater uh, it is a it is going to be a man is 34 percent 0.34 and we know that 0.34 is 934 is not closer to 0 or 1 and this number of people n is large bigger so we can approximate this binomial approximate this binomial 600 and 0 0.34 by normal distribution so it can be approximated by normal with mean and variance so we'll calculate mean and variance from the binomial we know that from the mean for mean mean is n into p that is 600 into 0 0.34 and variance is n p into q that is 600 into 0 0.34 into 0 0.66 so 0 0.34 into 600 is going to be 204 so the mean is 204 and 0 0.66 0 0.34 into this 600 it is going to be 134.64 now the probability this value will write in the probability form that is probability of x fewer than so less than 190 so first thing we have approximated by the uh, normal and we know that binomial is discrete and normal is continuous so we have to take the continuity correction so since it is fewer than 190 and we know that if it is not including the bar like it is 190 before that it is going to be we can take it as 189.5 5 here and this is 190.5 so if we require less than we need to go this direction so if you are not including 190 it means we will not include this whole bar so we have to take this as probability of x less than 189.5 and in the standardized form it is going to be probability of z less than 189.5 minus mu that is 204 over sigma that is square root of 134.64 so this value is going to be probability of z less than minus 1.2496 and if you draw the diagram it is going to going to be like that because it is negative value so it will like somewhere here and we require this reason so for this z it is going to be minus 1.2496 so corresponding to this we have the positive value 1.2496 towards the right hand side and we require this probability and it is going to be 1 minus phi of the positive value 1.2496 and this value is going to be 1 minus 0 0.8944 and this is 1 1 minus 0 0.8944 is going to be 0 0.1055 six so till three significant figure we can write the answer as 0 0.106 so that's the probability i hope it was of some help we'll do the last two questions in the next video till then thank you so much